guys welcome back to my channel and a brand new video and so today i'm back with another video for you guys and i decided on filming while i'm getting ready i still haven't done my makeup for the day i just had shower did my hair just do a bun up here and yeah i just decided let's do um my makeup routine with you guys and i also will talk you about the wonderful stay um, at the wonderful hotel um, we had over the past few days and it was so so wonderful and um, we spent uh, one night in a hotel uh, in Walkingham so the hotel was called the East Hampton Park Hotel and it was oh my god it was so so beautiful it was um, a Victorian mansion with 80 acres of land wonderful gardens and yeah we spent an amazing uh day night and a little bit of the next day as well so we spent a night um two days and then a night in the hotel uh, for my uh, husband's birthday and yeah it was so wonderful um we drove from bristol and yeah we went when did you go? We went on Monday. Monday today is Thursday. I'm filming this Thursday. Uh, we went on Monday, and we stayed over um, Monday night, and we left the next day uh, around I don't know around eleven o'clock in the morning, and then afterwards we still headed out to um, Bista Village, and we did a little bit of shopping on Bista Village. So it was really really wonderful and. I wanted to vlog, but to be honest with you, I was enjoying so much that I didn't manage to film a lot. I filmed a little bit for you guys, so I filmed our room, I filmed uh, the garden area and I also filmed a little bit of what we did while we were there and I'm gonna um, pop all of these videos on this one today, on this vlog today. So yeah, um, if you want to see my get ready me today and uh, the videos of our hotel stay, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so I brought you uh, closer so that you guys can see my uh, routine. So um, this morning I had shower, like I said, I did my hair and after that I applied my uh, eye cream. So the one I used today was the Lancome Genifique here, yeah, this one right here. After that, I applied my Hadalabo Tokyo Super Hydrator. So this one is like a toner and this one is one of my favorite toners uh, for my skin before my moisturizer. And after that, I applied my Hadalabo Anti-Aging Day Cream. So this one right here. If you haven't seen it, I've done a video about my favorites. I think it was from me. And um, I'm speaking about this cream right here. This is my favorite ever um, cream, uh, hydrating cream for my face. Sorry, I have a, a weird shadow on my face. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, so I really love this cream. It's really thick, super hydrating, and that's what I applied today. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do with my skin is I'm gonna apply my uh, foundation. And what I'm applying today is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless uh, Foundation in number uh, 115 ivory so this one right here this one is really really great so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply a little bit on my face i'm just gonna dot my face like this as per usual i really like to do this so that i can control the amount i pop on my face and yeah this one is really really good this is a high street um, a foundation and it's really good for the price so it's one I would definitely recommend and yeah so uh, to apply uh, the foundation onto the skin I'm gonna grab my beauty blender I'm gonna use this one right here it's already dampened and I'm gonna just pop that into the skin and yeah talking about the hotel stay guys yeah we went uh, Monday morning well it wasn't actually a morning, it was, we went around 11.30, uh, 12 o'clock, something like that, almost lunchtime, but we had a nice breakfast, so it was, it was okay, it was, it was fine. Um, we drove to Walkingham and the weather was actually okay, it wasn't raining, so that was wonderful because, as you know, here in the UK, during summer, um, you have lots of rain and the weather can be a little bit unpredictable but it was lovely it was lovely we um 
we drove up to Wokingham, we got there and it was still day, so I think we got there around... I think we got there around three o'clock. Yeah, three, half past three, something like that. And it was so beautiful. I even filmed um, our entrance into the hotel because they have this really huge avenue with um, um, trees and, and forest in both in both sides of the of the road. And then you can see the hotel in the in the end, and it's so so beautiful. It's a Victorian mansion, so you guys can imagine how gorgeous it was. I'm going to apply my foundation also here on my eyelids because I'm going to do a little bit of, um, of uh, eyeshadow. And yeah, we drove up there and we saw a sign that said that we could see um, deers. So we were, oh my God, I can't believe it. They have deers roaming around. So it was really exciting. And yeah, uh, after this, I'm going to grab my um, Radiant Touch from Yves Saint Laurent, this one right here to conceal underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna pop that here. This is the number one, by the way. It's a little bit light for my skin tone, but that's the one I have. When I went to the shops to buy it, they didn't really have my number, which is usually the number two. It's a, a bit more warm and darker, but yeah, I don't mind having this one. I can just blend it out with the rest of the makeup. So I'm gonna blend that out with my another beauty blender and yeah um, so we got to the hotel and we had booked earlier um, an afternoon tea and we were so excited to have the afternoon tea uh, it sounded wonderful by the menu we saw the menu at home and we were oh my god it's gonna be amazing um, the afternoon tea even had um, ice cream which was really exciting so yeah we got there, we, I think, the first thing we did was just have a walk in the grounds and just see the wonderful gardens they have. And it was so beautiful, guys, I can't even tell you. Yeah, so we we, um, we got, uh, we checked in, we went to our room, left our bags, and then we went straight to the gardens and just enjoyed the gardens. I took a lot of pictures, as you guys can imagine, and for my blog. And it was it was so wonderful. I really really enjoyed it. It was it was beautiful. Okay, after this, guys, I'm gonna set my under eyes and all the places I applied concealer with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This one right here, and I will link all of these products below. So, oh sorry, just have to tap this. And yeah, we uh, we booked our afternoon tea for uh, half past four. And yeah, we booked it a little bit early because we thought that um, we had to go and have dinner also early because of COVID now they are not open until very late. So what I'm gonna do now is grab the same beauty blender. I'm gonna dab it here and then just apply on the arrows I applied the concealer. Yeah, so um, we booked the afternoon tea for um, half past four and then we booked our dinner in the restaurant of the hotel, which was stunning. I can't even tell you how beautiful it was. Um, we booked the dinner for uh, 8.15 in the evening. So we had, you know, a few hours in between, which was enough time to have the afternoon tea, relaxed, change and still go and have a lovely dinner. And yeah, after, after we checked out the gardens and took lots of pictures and videos and all of that, um, we went to have our afternoon tea and oh my god, it was stunning. The room where we had the afternoon tea was the most beautiful room, I mean decoration I've seen in a while. It was this dark green walls, beautiful chandeliers. See you guys, I'm gonna pop in um, a little video we did uh, in the afternoon tea um, uh, later in the video so that you guys can see how it looked. It was so so stunning. And yeah, okay, now guys, while I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna do my brows. So I'm gonna use my usual um, liner, the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. And this one right here that has a spoolie in one end and then the pencil in the other. So I'm gonna brush my brows. Yeah, so the, um, the afternoon tea, tea was amazing, honestly. It was so, so nice. Um, we chose two different teas and I don't really remember the names to be honest with you, but they were wonderful. 
we didn't have any champagne or anything like that because you know it was quite close to dinner time so we wanted to have dinner um, and have a nice bottle of wine later on so we didn't really want to have champagne with the afternoon tea okay so now I'm gonna draw my brows I'm gonna do a line just underneath and then another one on top and I'm just gonna define them here a little bit and I'm just gonna fill in the gaps then I'm gonna do the same on the other brow Yeah guys, so the afternoon tea was amazing. I mean, we had scones, we had macarons, we had lots of different cakes, lots of different um, sandwiches, like little sandwiches. And it was, it was delicious. I can tell you, honestly, it was delicious. I think we paid around, now I'm gonna brush them with the spoolie. We paid around, um, I would say 30 per person which to be honest with you uh, it was perfectly fine it was it was a good price uh, because the setting the the place was wonderful it was beautiful the service was amazing and the amount of food we had was also a lot so in the end we had lots of food and the you know the the room where we uh, we were at was stunning and beautiful so in the end we really thought that the 30 pounds were, were worth it Okay guys, now I'm gonna go in with the Brow Fast Sculpt from Maybelline Gel Mascara, this one right here in dark brown. And I'm gonna go over what I did. And yeah, that was our, um, our um, afternoon tea, which was wonderful. And I took a few pictures, but um, the light in the room was not really great. And it was a little bit of a darker day. It wasn't very sunny uh, Monday, so... I have a few pictures, but they are not as beautiful as if you guys were there, as if I make myself understood. Oh my god, this is awful. Sometimes I can't, I'm thinking about things, but I can't really tell you what I'm thinking. It's just crazy, honestly. Okay, guys, <laughs> moving around, moving along, bloody hell. Okay, uh, now that my uh, baking is dry, I'm going to just brush this off. With a light hand, this is just a clean, a clean brush I have. Also here, where I popped a little bit, and here, and that's great. And now I think I'm gonna go back to my Laura Mercier. I'm gonna uh, apply a little bit of translucent setting powder in other areas of my face, just to. Um, set it a little bit and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Mercier sponge this one right here I'm just gonna tap it onto here and apply directly on the places I want a little bit more powder just to set the foundation a little bit I know this is very light but I will do a little bit of a bronzer later on so yeah I'm gonna set up my uh, um, neck as well yeah so the um, like i was saying the um, breakfast the breakfast oh god <laughs> my afternoon tea with my husband was was amazing honestly it was it was so nice we really really had a nice time and um i don't know i think we stayed there around two hours and it was so wonderful honestly really really nice and yeah, that was our afternoon tea. Then we went back to our room. We relaxed a little bit, had shower, and yeah, we got ready for dinner. And then we went for uh, for dinner afterwards. Okay, guys. So uh, coming back to the makeup, uh, I'm gonna apply a little bit of eye primer on my lids because today I'm gonna do um, a sparkly. I think I'm gonna do a sparkly eyeshadow. Hmm, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to use the Kiko Eye Primer. I really like this one, as you guys know from my other videos. So I'm going to apply a little bit like that. And I'm going to just tap it onto my lid, on top of my little bit of foundation I had applied earlier. So I'll just tap that. 
yeah, um, coming back to our hotel stay, which was amazing, guys, amazing. Um, after uh, the, our afternoon tea, like I said, we went to um, to the room to have a little bit of a rest. Then we changed, got uh, ready for dinner, and then we went to have dinner at around 8.15. And the dinner um, room was so beautiful, so beautiful. I think that one was one of the most beautiful dinner rooms I've, I've been, I think, ever, honestly. Um, they had this, I don't know, four or five huge chandeliers, crystal chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. They had a stunning, stunning fireplace, a marble fireplace. They had beautiful paintings on the walls and the whole thing was, was stunning. Um, the curtains were velvet. Guys, I can't even tell you how beautiful that was, honestly. It was, it was beautiful, stunning, stunning. So yeah, we had our dinner there. Uh, we had candlelight and it was so pretty, honestly, so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna let my eyelids uh, dry a little bit and I'm gonna go in with my Hoola uh, from Benefit bronzer. I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush, this one right here. I think this one, yeah, yeah. And I'm just gonna apply that almost all over because honestly, I'm, I have a little bit of a fake tan on, but I'm looking a little bit pale these days. So, because the weather hasn't been that great, as you guys know. I'm gonna apply it a little bit in the in my neck. And then a little bit here. Hopefully I won't ruin my eyebrow. A little bit more. And yeah, guys, the dinner uh, room was stunning. The service was really wonderful. We had this amazing uh, bottle of wine. And uh, we also had, uh, what we, did we have for dinner? Let me think. I had fish, but I can't really remember the name of the product. I'm um, applying now my NARS blusher in shade Orgasm with this brush here. And I don't really remember what, 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 oh God, what was the name of the, of the um, dish I had. Um, and but I know it was fish and my husband had um, a steak which he loves he always loves steak so he had steak we had a bottle of wine which was really really nice we also had uh, entrees so um, another a little dish before but I honestly can't really remember the names so I'll let you know later on or I'll link it down below later if I if I um, find out <laughs> gold okay so uh, now I've done the bronzer and the blush and I think I'm gonna apply um, a little bit of setting powder on my um, eyelids just to set it a little bit and I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier once again just a little bit I'm gonna use this fluffy brush right here as you guys are seeing I'm not really worried too much about my um, makeup today just you know doing a simple simple makeup nothing too fancy and yeah okay now guys i'm gonna use uh, my revolution palette this one right here this one is quite old but i really love it this is one of those brands that, that it's really really affordable and i really like it for the price it has lots of pigment on and i really like to use it this one is the revolution reloaded and I will link it down below if, the, if it still exists. I have another one. This one, I think this one is the Neutrals 2. Neutrals 2, this one right here. But I'm gonna use this one today. And I'm gonna do a really easy uh, eyeshadow look. I'm gonna do, I uh, think, let's see. This shade right here for my crease, this one right here is pink. And to do that, I'm gonna grab a brush. Let me see, maybe this one. Yeah, this one right here. This one is uh, from Morphe. This one right here, and I'll link it down below. It's an eyeshadow brush. So, I don't know if I'm gonna use that shade. Yeah, I'm gonna use that shade. Let's see. 
going to apply just a little bit to see how uh, deep it is and then I will um, apply more in case I need it. So I'm just going to go into the crease with this shade. to go back and forth here on the crease and then I'm gonna go and ins go in a little bit further here in the eye corner and that's good now I'm gonna do the same on the other eye So just go into the crease with this shade. This is a soft pink shade, sparkly one. She's, it's, it's actually really nice. It's easy to control. It's not one of those shades that you can't really control. So it's, it's actually all right. So back and forth. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more here in the corner as usual. The same exactly that I did on the other eye. I think that's good. I'm gonna go back to the first one here. Oh god, sometimes I can't really speak honestly. <laughs> first one. So I'm gonna go back to the other eye. That's what I meant. That's good. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna blend the edges of this. So I'm gonna use the this Morphe blending brush. Just slightly blend the edges out. And yeah, like I was saying, um, the, din the dinner, the setting of the dinner was so stunning. It was it was beautiful, guys, beautiful. I'm gonna go back with the same shade and I'm gonna do uh, uh, the under eye as well. So I'm gonna get, let me just grab a brush for that. See which one is good. Mm. Let's do this one here by Morphe, just a small flat brush. I'm gonna go and pick up the same color and I'm just gonna do the under eye. And a little bit more. Yeah, our dinner was wonderful. We had a really, really, really nice time. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we also had um, a glass of champagne um, before we went for our for our afternoon tea. Because this this um, this trip was, we bought a package deal which had um, a discount on the dinner. It also had a discount on the room charges and it included a glass of champagne um, while you were there. And it also included um, a discount on the dinner, which was a wonderful dinner, guys. I tell you, it was wonderful. And you could choose anything you wanted from the menu. So it wasn't like one of those uh, discounts where you have to ask for a certain dish or the menu of the day or something like that. No, it was anything you wanted. And I think they had like 30 pounds discount for person on the dinner, which was really, really amazing. I really, really loved it. And yeah, we had also the glass of champagne and we had that before we went to the afternoon tea, which was really, really nice. So just after we, um, we checked out the gardens and after we took a few pictures, now I'm gonna blend that with another brush, also by Mo uh, no, sorry, this one is by. I was gonna use this, but it has a little bit of glitter on it. It's dirty. Sorry, not gonna use it now. Uh, I'm gonna use a clean brush, hopefully. This one right here. Uh, yeah. So, um, so this this package deal was really, really wonderful. We really um, enjoyed it, and the hotel was amazing. So completely completely worth it and yeah we had a really nice time at dinner as well 
Okay guys, so I've done this eye um, color and it's quite simple and now I'm gonna apply, hopefully it will match. I'm gonna apply uh, this Stila liquid eyeshadow and this one is called Glitter and Glow by Stila and the name is Li Lilac Ice, Lilac Ice. So, I'm gonna apply, I'm just gonna show you how it looks like, so it looks like that. Now I'm gonna apply it here in the center. And it's a really, really pretty lilac uh, shade. And I really like it. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to go up to the crease. And I'm going to apply this product in the whole um, eyelid. Up to the crease. And apply a little bit more and now I'm going to blend it a little bit and I'm going to apply more. This is a product that dries up really quickly so you have to be quickly to apply it, quick, quick to apply it. I think it's stunning. This is so pretty, guys. What do you think? Okay. Just gonna blend it a little bit. And that's good. Now I'm gonna go into the other eye. Do the same. So I will start here in the middle. And I'm just gonna apply that to the whole um, moving part of my eye. This is really, really pretty color. It's like a lilac, um, really pretty, um, colorful, not colorful, oh God. Today I can't really <laughs> explain things properly. It's like a shiny, glittery shade and it's so stunning. Wow. Wow, I really love it. Okay, I'm gonna um, blend a little bit of this one here. But I don't think it needs. I think this one came out better than the other, so I'm gonna go back to the other and I'm gonna try to apply a little bit more. Yeah, that's great. Wow, I really love it, guys. What do you think? I'm gonna let this dry before I apply anything else on my um, on my eyes because I still I still um, need to apply my eyeliner and my mascara so I'm gonna let them dry and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight so uh, what highlight will I use let me just double check like I said a million times on this on this vlog I don't on this vlog on this vlog I don't really have a lot of uh, on this channel god not on this vlog or vlog Jesus Christ uh, I don't have a lot of um, highlighters I need to buy more um, but I have this stunning, I really love this, stunning MAC Shimmer um, Powder. It's called Silver Dusk and I really, really love it. It's like a pink, pink shade and it looks like that. It's really, really pretty. And I'm just going to apply a little bit here. Let's see if I don't put too much. I'm going to apply with this brush right here. And do the same on the other side. Mm, stunning. I think I put too much on this side already, of course. It's not very easy to control, but it's so pretty. Don't know if you guys can see. It's really pretty. Okay, Clara, I think you put too much on your face. Um, Let's try and fix that. Maybe, maybe with a little bit of 
I'm going back to the Laura Messier one and I'm gonna pop a little bit of that one on top so that that won't be as shiny. I'm just gonna pop a little bit to the top. So I'm going to know which brush I should use. Let's go with this one. Yeah, it looks a little bit better like this. Still shiny, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I think the eyes are not dry yet, so I'm going to do a little bit of uh, highlighter on my nose. And for that one, I'm going to use the Revlon Skin Lights. I really like this one for my nose. And I'm going to choose a brush. Let me just get a brush. I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm just going to do a line here in the middle. And uh, here in the bottom. I really like this, this highlighter, by the way, it's really, really strong. And I'm going to do a little bit here. And that's good. And like I was saying, guys, our, um, our day passed at the hotel was so nice. So yeah, on the first day we had um, afternoon tea, we took photos, we walked around um, the grounds which were stunning, beautiful gardens, uh, absolutely amazing. And uh, the next day we had dinner as well. The next day, before we go on to the next day, after dinner, we went for a drink in the bar. And we didn't stay for a long time because they closed at 11, which was really early, but I understand that because of COVID. So yeah, we had a drink really quickly <laughs> and then we had to go and go back to our room basically because uh, the bar was closed. And that was the only thing I was a little bit sad for because I really wanted to have a drink and relax after dinner and we couldn't. But you know, overall it was amazing. Now I'm gonna do uh, my eyeliner, this one right here by Guerlain, number um, 001 Black. I usually like a very thick line, but today I'm not going to do that because I want the eye look to be visible. And yeah, we had an amazing time. on the next day so this was the first day we um, on the next day we woke up around I don't know it's half past seven eight and then we went for breakfast and the breakfast was wonderful as well really really good selection really uh, delicious and good oh no I did a mistake I'll clean it up in a second. Yeah, we had breakfast and then we went and took more pictures. Okay guys, bear with me, I'm just gonna clean what I did there. Okay guys, so I cleaned the little mistake I did and I finished uh, the liner on this side. I also applied a mascara. I used the Lancome Hypnose in black. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. And it's really, really good mascara. I really love this one right here. It's really, really good and lengthening. And yeah, I'm gonna let that dry now and I'm gonna do the lips. And after that, I think we're done. So for lips, let me just take a look here. What should I use? Mm, I think I have so many here next to me and I always struggle a little bit to find a nice color that I like. Let me just 
take a look. I wanted to do something different today, but it's not really easy because the eye look is so... Um, it's so sparkly, so it's not really easy. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a lip liner. And I'm gonna use this lip liner here. And this one is by Revlon. And the shade, I always struggle to find the shade. Uh, it's called a nude. So I'm gonna lip line my lips, lip line my lips, yeah, lip line my lips, with this one right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go a little bit inside. That's good. Mm, I think I have hairs on my cat here. Mm, not good. Okay, all aligned. And now I might go to my... Yes, I might go and use my Stila. So today's a Stila day. Uh, my Stila liquid lipstick uh, called Patina. I really like this shade. And I think I have something on my lips. Mm? No. So I'm gonna apply patina. Yeah, like I was saying guys, before I forget and just do the makeup, like I was saying, on the second day we had breakfast, then we went for... Oh, just me to the lip. <laughs> then we went for um, a walk in the grounds again, we took pictures, we did uh, pictures from my blog, so another blog post, I think I did like three blog, blog posts while I was there. And... Uh, oh, sorry. I think that's good. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen my blog posts, go and head on to my uh, site and check them out. I'm going to leave uh, down here um, my website uh, page so you guys can go and check it out. And yeah, if you haven't already. And also, if you haven't already, go and follow me on Instagram. And my uh, ad is at TrueCloseTours. I will also link it here down below for you guys to check it out. And yeah, like I was saying, we had a walk, we took pictures, and then we left around half past 11. And yeah, it was the perfect mini getaway, I think. It was amazing, honestly. Uh, we had a wonderful time. It was the right amount of time just to relax, have a nice dinner, and have a romantic evening, which we totally did. It was a wonderful anniversary for my husband. And yeah, it was so, so nice. Um, okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of gloss, also by Stila. And then this one is called Pink Slip. It's a really nice shade. So I'm gonna apply that. Yeah. It's like purpley, but I think the glitter on the eyes is also purple, so I think it matches. I think it's stunning. I really like this color. Okay, some setting spray and we're done. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Maybelline Lasting Fix uh, Matte Setting Spray. And that's the look for today, guys. What do you think? 
um, looking in my mirror here, I have a mirror here, I think I like it. I would maybe prefer the lips to be a little bit more, um, less dark, less deep shade, but you know, I like it like like this. I think it's it's nice summery look. I think it came out pretty. And yeah, I really like this look. Um, what do you guys think? Please comment down below, let me know what you think. And yeah, like I was saying, um, before I introduce here lots of different pictures and videos from our little uh, getaway. Um, yeah, after that we left the hotel. Uh, it was amazing. We didn't see any deers, um, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure they were there and in the amazing grounds of the hotel. And then afterwards we were coming to Bristol and uh, it's quite quite a long trip, well, around, I don't know, two hours, almost two hours from Wokingham to Bristol and yeah, we were uh, driving and I was feeling a little bit sleepy and yeah, you know, and I wasn't really paying attention to the to the um, roads and the road um, signs and then a while, a uh, long while later, I started to see um, signs to Oxford and I thought, why, why the hell are we going to Oxford if we want to go to Bristol? And yeah, my husband made me a surprise and he drove up to Oxford so that we would go to Bister Village and uh, pick up my wedding, uh, oh well, <laughs> my wedding, pick up my anniversary, my birthday present because my birthday is coming up on the 9th of September and yeah he wanted to go there and pick up something for me and i was so so happy he was wonderful and i couldn't believe it that you know he just decided okay let's go to bister and uh we went we went to bister and it was amazing we got there it was sunny it wasn't raining and uh mm, sorry as usual i have lipstick on my teeth yeah, we got to Bister, we saw lots of shops and I tried on uh, lots of different things. I went to Dolce Gabbana, which is one of my favorite shops ever. But everything was very expensive in Dolce Gabbana, so I didn't end up buying anything there. Uh, we went to Prada and in Prada there was loads of people, it was really really busy, so I didn't really feel like shopping. Everything was expensive as well, we didn't really see a lot on Prada. And then we saw a few more stores, Dior um, and Gucci. I really like Gucci. I saw there a few things. I saw a skirt I really loved, a red skirt with animal print. And as you guys know, I love animal print. So yeah, it was, it was beautiful, but I didn't buy it. It was one of those things that I decided, okay, I'll come back. And if I really want it, I'll come back and I'll buy it. So I didn't come back. <laughs> because meanwhile, we went to, um, Burberry and oh, I fell in love with this two-piece set and my husband ended up buying it for me so I won't show you now because um, it's still uh, boxed up because he doesn't want me to open it before my birthday which is the 9th of September but I will definitely show you guys everything I got for my birthday when it's uh, due <laughs> And yeah, I was so happy that we went to Bister and we bought a few things for myself. We didn't buy anything for him, bless him. But it was beautiful, beautiful uh, surprise. And then we came back to our home. And yeah, it was a beautiful uh, two days of, uh, you know, sightseeing, staying in the hotel, went into, going to Bister. So it was really, really wonderful. So yeah, it was, it was amazing, guys. And yeah, we are going to also, I forgot to tell you, we are going to Portugal on the 24th of August. So that's very soon. And I will be uh, probably vlogging over there. We're going to um, spend a little bit of time with my parents and with uh, my husband's family as well. And then we are going to the Algarve, to the south of, um, of Portugal, and we rented a villa. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be able to vlog for you guys from there. I'm so excited to show you the villa and everything else we're going to do there. So yeah, um, I think now I'm going to leave you guys and I'm just going to add up all the videos from our hotel stay uh, just here and then I'll come back to say bye bye.
gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful room at the hotel. How oh, gorgeous is this bed? Wow. The most stunning hotel ever. I mean, this is something else. How gorgeous. so that was the video for today the vlog for today i, go, I hope i really hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video it's quite a long one but i just wanted to show you everything we did in our mini break and i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know comment down below if you like this tip uh, this type of vlog and if you do i will try and do more for you guys and i also hope you guys like this makeup it was really quick um, while I was chit chatting with you guys and I think it came out really pretty please comment let me know if you'd like it and yeah uh, I forgot to say if you're new here <laughs> after after an hour <laughs> I forgot to say if you're new here um, don't forget to subscribe down below my name is Clara and I would be extra happy if you guys join the family and yeah if you want to see another video from me please come back next week Sunday at 7 p.m and until then have a wonderful week guys bye